I know you're a big family guy, surrounded by a whole lot of girls. Yeah. But to have Kendall play for you, and Chloe is still on the team, and I th- I know Kendall was involved last year. What's it mean to to have the support from them and you know, that they're both part of your, your team as well as your family. Everything, e- everything. And not, not just from, from my standpoint, but for our team, you know, Kendall, Kendall signed with me to come to James Madison, good level for her, really good level for her. And I thought she would have been, you know, extremely, you know, she would, she would have been fine in the CAA. And when I decided to come here, I said, you know, look, you got a choice. You can stay there. You can come with me. It's a higher level. Don't know what your production will be, but you can come. And she wanted to come immediately, immediately. You know, she can't play at that level, blah, 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 you know, just, just kill. And it was unfair to her because she didn't ask to come here. You know, she was following her dad. And so when she got here, you know, she was the subject of a lot. You know, I was subject of a lot. So people didn't understand it. Oh, you're just going to play your daughter. Oh, she shouldn't be playing. And she heard it all. And, and the thing that I'm most proud of is that she persevered through that. She came here when I'm trying to change the culture. I threw her into that locker room. Okay. Who are they going to be mad at the most? Me. So who are they going to take it out on? They can't take it out on me. They take it out on her. And I think she grew from that. You know, she had people, you know, saying, you know, she shouldn't be playing. My wife had to endure that in the stands. You know, she shouldn't be playing. We could lose a game and it's automatically her fault. And she had to grow up in that. I didn't have to grow up in that. I grew up in obscurity. No one knew who my dad was. I went out and played, made a name for myself. Everything that my kids have had to do, they've been under a microscope. Well, that's Kenny Brooks's daughter. Well, she's not that good. Well, she can't do this. Well, she can't play at that level. So what did Kendall do? She comes out in her first year. She breaks the record for most three-pointers by a freshman. All right, well, you're, you belong. They're still nitpicking. Oh, well, you, well, she, he's just going to play her. And the, people will use that against me in recruiting. He's just going to play his daughter. When we recruited Taylor Emery, the other school that was recruiting her, he's just going to play his daughter. Asia Shepard's here playing behind Kendall because Asia Shepard just wasn't ready at that time. Well, he's, you're never going to play over his daughter. But what they didn't understand was is that I want to win. Kendall understood what she needed to do, what her place was. Kendall played early because who knew my system better? She did. She watched all my practices at JMU. She knew it. Every workout that I worked out with her was grooming her to play in my system. Now she can put the ball on the floor. I think she made four two-pointers in her whole career. <laughs> but you asked Jeff Walls. You asked Wes Moore. They had the game plan for her. All right. So she was, she made her mark. She was good for us. But where they are the best for us, where they are the best for us, her, Chloe, they, they help promote what we are. And that's family. People don't understand when recruits come in and they see my daughters around, there's a comfort level. When the parents see that, there's a comfort level. You are a father of three daughters who incorporate them into your program. If they're into your program, it must be something that you're safe with. It must be something that you value because you put your kids in there. You have no idea. Carolina has the light blue. They have the Jordan brand. Duke has Coach K. All right, that's their thing. Okay, everyone needs a niche. What is my niche in recruiting? Okay, it's the relationships. And the relationships are built because it's family. My kids have helped us build this program as much as anybody without scoring the points because they have the culture. Ask Liz Liz Kitley in Georgia, come to my house all the time. (laughs) I don't even know they're there. I don't even know they're there. I'm in my man cave. And and I come into the kitchen and they're there because they're watching The Bachelorette with Chloe. And I'm like, okay. And I don't even have to entertain them because they're there with Chloe. All right. Kendall used to bring them over all the time and that, that promotes family and that helps us. So what they did, I uprooted them. They had never moved until we got here. That's unprecedented for a coach's kid. They had never moved. And we came here and family is what has helped me build this program at the rate that we built it because we've incorporated them. It helped me. There are so many fans that have welcomed my wife in, my kids in, that has put an ease to me that's allowed me to get engulfed in Hokie Nation, that has engul- helped me take this program and know that I can really go on the road recruit because I know my wife is good because she's with 
this van or she's with these people. My, my kids, my kids love, absolutely love being Hokies. It's crazy because I taught them how to hate Virginia Tech when we were at JMU. <laughs> it's like, we don't like them. They did not like them, did not want to come here, right? Because we did not promote anything Virginia Tech. It was JMU. And now they will repeatedly say how much they love it here. They, they, they love Virginia Tech. They watch the football games. They do this. They, we go back up to Harrisonburg, and they are like, they, my, my middle daughter said, when you get inducted and you walk up to get your plaque, I'm going to say, let's go, Hokies. And that, that's what they are. They love it. And it's the best decision I made because they are good. They love it. And so it allows me to really get engulfed in my job and what we can build here. And so family means everything to me. Uh, I have a tremendous family. They've sacrificed so much. They've gone through so much. I think they've come out on the better end of it. Kendall's tremendous job. She's with the ACC network. I mean, the ACC right now. Chloe's found the love of her life in Hunter Couture. And um, so they love the maroon and orange.